violence and other kind of violence. What's good, Cyberspace? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Impact to Action News is getting answers about gangs, crime, and violence impacting our children and our communities. We got the rare opportunity today to get four sheriffs, there they are, in one room to talk openly about crime concerns and solutions. New at 6, Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie is live in DeKalb County with what those sheriffs are seeing. Mark. Yeah, we're at a juvenile justice facility in DeKalb County, but the juvenile crime issue, the gang issue, goes well beyond Metro Atlanta. And we spoke to four sheriffs from elsewhere in Georgia. They get out of prison or they get out of jail and they start indoctrinating these babies at home who do not have the cognitive skills to even survive the streets hardly. And they're so young, they're so immature. The Fulton County District. Yeah. Um and he's he's basically saying what i've been saying for the longest sisters come get your kids district attorney's office indicates these are photos related to juvenile gang membership in metro atlanta including an oath to join a set of a national gang wow an oath they're taking oaths now i take this oath and sw solemnly swear to uphold honor and respect the rules and regulations that govern the empire or shine under the banner of the united blood nation i take this oath to be and then it scratched out his name i guess redacted responsible trustworthy and militant for now i am in um upliftment for a people and understand others can be affected by my actions i take this oath to stand by brothers and sisters in time in a time of need and um threat a sturdy i don't know shoulder to lean on and be a sturdy shoulder to lean on for now my loyalty is to g shine empire i be who you be they kill you they kill me i love you i da, 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 i can't really read that heaven got a ghetto there's a heart for a six i miss you I X'd out till infinity. I don't know what that says, but as you can see, they're taking oaths, writing and putting it in writing. And these guys online will continue to say, oh, well, gangs have done more good than harm in the community. Yeah, right. Found in a juvenile's room in DeKalb County. And a juvenile suspected gang member walking around a southeast Atlanta apartment complex with an AK-47. <laughs> the DA's office wants to be open about the crisis concerning juvenile crime, particularly involving gangs in the metro area. But the executive director of the Georgia Sheriff's Association says it had open house at the association's new headquarters. And that he pointed us to four sheriffs from well outside metro Atlanta willing to open up about juvenile crime, particularly involving gangs. The Doherty County Sheriff. What are you seeing in terms of juvenile crime, particularly gangs? An ever-growing problem. Mm. Uh, we're seeing more hardcore felony type crimes being committed now. Yeah, and these are black kids. Damn near exclusively black kids. And like I said, the message is being hindered because of the social media oligarchs. So I'm trying to do as best as I can to shed awareness to this situation. But if we don't get a hold of these kids, then it's going to be over for us. Now than ever before. But the gangs are catching them young. And what we're seeing is the eight, nine, ten year olds being indoctrinated into these gangs by family members who have been in prison. The Peach County Sheriff. We're having a rash of drive by shootings and it's all gang related. These kids are 14, 15, 16 years old. Uh, some 17. Naturally, we get some of the bleed over from those bigger counties that are that are neighboring us. And in our juveniles, we're obviously seeing increased numbers and more violent offenders. Yep. The Crawford County Sheriff. We believe your gang problem in your rural county is 
is less than that in most of the state. Right now it is, but we know at any point that it can escalate uh, what some of the other sheriffs are dealing with in the state. We know that. The Long County Sheriff. We're seeing more juvenile offenders offend in Long County. Uh, we're not like a big city and a big county. We, we still aren't at the, at the levels of your your larger counties in the state. We so this is leaking out to the rural parts as well. Yeah, but we are seeing uh, issues with school in the schools. Is uh, there a gang presence growing? In oh, County? the gang presence is growing, yes, especially among the adults. How about with the juveniles? Uh, yes, the, the gang presence is growing with the juveniles. We want to try to be proactive to uh, deter and, and keep these uh, activities out of our communities. Mm. Eight, nine, and ten years old. So Sheriff's Association Executive Director Terry Norris says all of the sheriffs uh, we interviewed are highly engaged in their communities and are the type of men who would work hard at addressing the root causes of crime and prevention. We obtained photos for our report through the Fulton County D. You hear them, root causes. DA's office and through sheriffs. Reporting live in DeKalb County, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News. Now a part of the holiday season is becoming a concern. Some shoppers say they're really alarmed about the amount of guns people are actually carrying in stores. 11 Eliza Latasha. Get <laughs> so folks ain't playing in the A. They pulling up to the store strapped up. This is live from Alpharetta with more on what you need to do to stay. Keep your family safe while you're trying to buy gifts. Latasha. That's right, Ron. It's a real fear for some shoppers. And right now they're seeing more guns in public places for a few reasons. The first is Georgia's concealed carry law expanded earlier this year. We recently had a host of shootings at retail locations. And right now the shopping crowds are a little larger than the last two years because of lower COVID numbers. Mm. It's happening. In we sat down with psychotherapist Eddie Reese to talk about the fear some say they're having about the amount of people they see carrying guns while holiday shopping. 620 mass shootings this year alone, so way more than, I mean, we're, we're getting close to twice a day. Yeah, people are, um, people are pretty much, like, tired of the mass shootings and they're, they want to have a fighting chance, especially if it happens at a random place like it is. Um, so the fear is very real. With the number of recent shootings in Metro Atlanta and the expansion of Georgia's open carry law, Reese says people have to adapt to the new reality of seeing more guns in public. First of all, know that your concern is real. The trick is to not let it stop you from living your life. Family therapist Dr. Shatavia Tom. See, that's what they keep saying until you at the Walmart where it's getting aired out. Thomas empowers her patients with what they can do to be safe, like avoid shopping alone, locate on-site security when you arrive, and avoid calling or texting while you're walking to and from your car so that you're alert. And remember, Georgia does have a constitutional carry law, so you are allowed to have your gun at most places. But as a reminder, there are some exceptions while you're out this holiday season. Courthouses, jails, most places of worship, schools, power facilities, and the airport. But as for retail locations, every company has their own policy, so you want to check with those if you have those concerns. Mm. Live in Alpharetta, I'm Latasha Gibbons. Back to you. Okay, Latasha, really good advice to keep our families safe. So if you're going to be heading out for some holiday shopping, Lenox Square has a relatively new feature. You can actually take part in the up front plus parking for the holiday season. So this allows you to park inside of a gated, attended, supervised lot right at the front entrance and is free during mall hours. Yo, what's good BGZM News 17 family? I'm at the corner of Jesse Jackson and Marcus Garvey. And I got some bad news for you. As you can see, I lost my job. I'm out here living in cardboard boxes outside of boarded up vacant homes. YouTube said, I'm done getting money out here in these streets. They even took my funky ass suit. So anything right now would help. So go ahead and hit that cash app, hit that PayPal, hit that GoFundMe, hell, cop the merch. Or if you want to make the long-term commitment to the Jinquadius Jackson Fund, 
join the Patreon so that I can continue to put out top-notch content each and every day. Also, <laughs> check out the Rumble where there is absolutely no censorship. Link in the description box below. Hey, yo, 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 ain't that that, that nigga did Quavius? Yo, I recognize No, that that's not me no anywhere. more. Hey, yo, run your pocket. Y'all tell me what they say. Do the opposite of Antonio Brown and take what all your What more do you want from me? An update to a story we first brought to you as breaking news right here on 11 Alive yesterday. Just minutes ago here, folks, we learned that the man shot outside the town center Walmart in Cobb County has died. Mm. The 23-year-old was from Kennesaw. And while police say they identified several persons of interest, no one has been arrested so far. 11 Alive News at 5 p.m. starts now. First at five, a gunfire at a Walmart in Cobb County left shoppers running for their safety today. And tonight, one person is in the hospital, several others under arrest. 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates is live at the store right now. This is near the town center. Bo Beth? Wow, man. And I mean, they shot up the Walmart in, Cab in Cobb County. No regard for uh, people's safety. We already discussed people bringing their firearms um, holiday shopping, and that's a, that's a real thing. <laughs> and as you can see, this uh, this did not end well. Well, this Walmart is back open, but just hours ago, this entire area was corded off as police investigated what caused gunfire to happen right behind me in this automotive area. And they were saying active shooter, active shooter. And so everybody that was in the area that I was just like got their purse or got whatever they had and started running. I have a report of an active shooter. We're getting multiple calls. Cobb County Police says it wasn't an active shooter, but gunfire that frightened this Walmart shopper who didn't want to disclose her identity after what happened at the store on Chastain Meadows Parkway. Mm. I was listening to see if I heard anything or heard any gunshots or anything, and I didn't. So I just grabbed my purse and left. I left my cart and the stuff that I had in it in the middle of the pharmacies. According to police, Damn. the shooting happened around noon outside the store. Soon after arrival, it was determined that the shooting was between two separate groups as was in the exterior, the exterior area of the Walmart Automotive Center. So this just sounds like uh, they saw their ops at the Walmart grocery shopping, which is very likely to happen in Atlanta, and they aired the Walmart out. It's pretty crazy, guys. Police confirmed at least one person was shot, and that person was driven to Kennestone Hospital in a private car. Several involved persons were detained by officers, and the investigation continues. Investigators continue to gather information from witnesses and the physical evidence at the scene. And the violence is shocking people who frequent the area. This is where we get our groceries from all the time. Like, I come here almost every month, and... It's crazy to see that a small argument or whatever happened can cause such a big commotion. It's scary. A big commotion? Ma'am, it was a shootout. Have had any, and now police say at this time they don't believe the shooting involved anyone inside the store, but they say they're still investigating. Live in Cobb County, Bo Beth Yates, 11 Alive News. Getting new insight here at 5 o'clock into a man shot and killed outside Walmart. The shooting sparked panic inside the store in Cobb County. Well, now family and friends of Eddie Figueroa are posting their condolences and also their favorite memories. Yeah, so um, here you go. Eddie Figueroa, I guess, or Figueroa. Figueroa um, was the brother who was exed out, 23 years old. Could he have been um, one of the individuals who was involved in the, the, the melee, the gun melee. I don't know. Um, but I, I keep telling you guys, we live in an op culture. Uh, you're, you're going to be hard pressed to find some young guys, especially if they went to public school in the Atlanta area who don't have ops. Okay. Because like I said, um, we live in an op culture and a lot of these young men are manufacturing their ops, meaning 
they're bringing on beefs that are completely unnecessary. Channel 2's Michael Seiden is live now in Cobb County for us. And Michael, you learned police, they're looking for several persons of interest as they call them, but nobody's been arrested. Yeah, no arrest yet, George, but take a look at this Walmart. Obviously a very different scene today. It is business as usual, but tonight there is sadness and shock for this family as police continue to search for their loved one's killer. Mm. Family and friends of 23-year-old Eddie Figueroa sharing their grief on social media Friday after their loved one became the victim of senseless gun violence. It all happened on Wednesday outside this Walmart off Chastain Meadows Parkway in Cobb County. I'm really, really, really messed up on this one wrote this family member. This world is messed up and nobody cares about the consequences anymore. No regard for life. Um, it's, it's just the community who doesn't care about the consequences. Or people's lives. There was two groups that knew each other. They had an altercation. Everybody that we know of, there is no danger to the public. That's what police told us on Wednesday. But right now it's still unclear if this young man was targeted or just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Investigators say after he was hit by the gunfire, someone drove him to the hospital where he died from his injuries. Mm. Back at Walmart, it's business as usual, a completely different scene than what we witnessed earlier in the week when there were reports of an active shooter inside the store sparking. And this is the second shooting coming out of the community at Walmart within the past four weeks. So y'all know we had Andre Bing air out the Walmart and delete his employees a couple weeks ago. So very tragic situations going on. It looks like we're spiraling for sure. Chaos and confusion among shoppers and employees. And this guy started run, running across the front of the store screaming active shooter, active shooter. And people started scattering everywhere, dropping stuff and running out of the store. Here we go. Yeah, the victim's sister didn't want to go on camera, but she told us today that her brother was a young entrepreneur who had actually launched his own clothing line. We'll stay in contact with police, and as soon as they make an arrest, we will pass that information along. For now, we're live in Cobb County. Michael Seiden, Channel 2 Action News.